Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hot Steel and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included in our cozy, well, not so cozy, because basically it's near freezing, uh, little colony um, on the Rhyme asteroid. Uh, where uh, last time we hooked up uh, this natural gas geyser um, that we still have to, to analyze and then we also have this gold volcano which is dormant for another almost 16 cycles um, we have quite a bit of water in here. Uh, we are not using nearly as much oxygen uh, as we are producing over there. And our water is going down, but uh, I think our uh, food supply is stable, however. I would not think that we are there so that we could add another duplicate. So I think uh, until we find another water source, it's probably more like we have to find a way to uh, melt the ice. And Maybe the, the way to do that is uh, once we get the, uh, the molten gold or the hot gold uh, that we then can add, put that wherever we have ice that should melt it, get the water and then we can somehow pump it in here but of course once we have gold we can also uh, basically expand our power production because currently we do have generators here we have one battery but then this does not go anywhere and everything is still powered by this coal down there um, so yes I think at least for the for the moment it's more like uh, okay well, let's let's wait until uh, uh, we can actually make some progress One way of making progress is finishing this analysis and it tells us we have to wait quite a while until we can get power out of this one. But I think um, what we could do is uh, to actually break this open a bit. So that way we basically extend the we extend the the area where we can store gas within here uh, uh, without pumping it into into the tanks which useful there's also something new in here so let's have a look um, we do have uh, quite all, a few already and as mentioned I don't think it's time yet to add to our duplicates however what we also started last time is uh, basically branching out here a bit uh, into the 
the various direction to see if there is something of value anywhere. And I think we can also go up here a bit and see if we can find something in that direction. I have dug out past over here. So uh, let's see if we uh, try to knock on here. Uh, from the description we might get a duplicate. But it looks like we have to knock for quite a while. And I am not sure if this is cumulative or or how this this actually works so we will find out and up here we are making a bit of uh, of progress so far i don't see anything of interest and i also put in a level down there and I think once we have uh, the gold we can then also think about having an atmosphere dock here on top um, maybe also off to one side we will see um, and we will continue knocking. Okay, uh, the uh we are still at 0% with, uh, with the knocking, so I'm not sure if we uh, can accomplish anything here. Uh, we could store quite a bit here, uh, but then do we really need that? don't think so because currently our containers here are not full and we can even extend that. What we might want to do is put in a layer here, dig that out. And then maybe place a dining hall in there. Uh, let's see. Uh, do we have the decorations? No. So let's also research that. And then Door, airflow tile, uh, we will have um, where are the furniture, water cooler, and we will have one, two, three, four. Five, six, gap of two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll extend that to here. And I'm hoping that the 
because the, we have a bit of a gap there that the, the room is not too big. Um, probably also want this here. So. Um, then we will see, we will need one decoration piece here in the middle to make it a great hall. But then of course we can add paintings and so on in addition but for that we need some reed fiber and seeing that temperatures are a bit on the low side um, maybe the way to read fiber is about shearing a, a dracos but to have a farm for them that would also need some temperatures where we can uh, at least uh, grow some of their uh, food source so that's that's just another thing that we have to to figure out our gold volcano will erupt shortly and that should give us something to do but while we have been digging up here, looky looky, there is another cool steam vent. So uh, we can probably harvest uh, that water uh, in order to replenish what we need for our farming setup. So how are we doing here? Still a bit of time to pass and here in our base do have down below we have quite a bit of uh, carbon dioxide I think once that reaches uh, 2000 grams uh, per tile then uh, we run into uh, issues that uh, it might push up the uh, oxygen but on the whole I should say we are well oxygenated and of course here we have uh, our great hall which gives us a moral bonus of plus six so if we look here now all our duplicates are okay uh, with with their morale no problems there but not really too much to spare and we probably need an artist here to make a nice sculpture and then we probably want uh, also a mechatronic engineer so we can mechanize or automate uh, the putting of coal into the coal uh, furnace and so on nice we are already getting gold so I am wondering if, for example, I would put here uh, one storage bin. Let's put the priority up a bit. We can do that experiment. So, if we put in here a storage bin, set that to uh, accept gold uh, this one here that's refined metal gold and put priority to six seven what does happen they go in there 
grab the gold. Okay. At least while transporting, they did not uh, lose uh, the gold. And in here we can see the temperature is dropping. But it also heats things up, so we can actually use that as a heat source to uh, to heat our base. Uh, probably we have to somehow ensure that the heat is uh, evenly spread, not that we get one hot spot there. Uh, and uh, every uh, everywhere else it's it's freezing uh, but thinking of that maybe we can then also place one here and maybe get enough heat out of that to uh, to actually um, um, melt the ice down there and yes we want to have the, the gold shown in here so and probably means we can do a bit of this. Uh, but then, of course, we will also that will then uh, lose the heating power so I think it's not in here that we, uh, we really want it in the first place but maybe uh, uh, over here where we can melt some ice and get some some water out of that and uh, that should help us in the in the long run and of course once we have uh, uh, automation we can pick up the gold and then uh, basically run the gold through our base to cool the gold but also to heat up the heat up the base that's the plan in the long run uh, let's see what we can ah uh, yeah that one is is built so let's do this that and they are going down here there we have salt water geyser um, that comes out quite hot we could probably use that we would have to uh, in in order to use it as a as a water source we would have to uh, desalinated but I think that's something we can do if we need it but we also have uh, a steam vent up here that we can use as, a, as an additional water source so we are not too much press of course we have to ensure that this water is sufficient until we can tap into 
either uh, uh, this water source or this one as we are needing additional power to refine this uh, salty water i think probably we will we will use that one back to the game where we are in the process of getting that con inductive wiring um, apparently I told it to be built out of uh, copper which is not what I intended because we do have the gold that comes out of a volcano so let's make use of that and looking at the, the calorie supply we're still about in the same situation as uh, at the at the beginning of the of the episode so i think we are stable we should not tempt fate by adding the, an additional duplicate without having a solid uh, resource of uh, additional food and a barbecue coming out of the replicator is not uh, a really sustainable way so i hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, we will see next time what we can do uh, with with water i think until then Goodbye.